Hello and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. In this video, we are going to do the Bohr model of beryllium. Let's do a quick review. When we do Bohr models, we are going to have a circle, and that's going to represent the nucleus. It's going to be all the way in the center. Then we're going to have P equals a number, and that's going to represent the number of protons. N equals a number, and that's going to represent the number of neutrons. The electrons are going to orbit the nucleus in orbits or shells. In the very first orbit, it can have a maximum of two electrons indicated by these orange dots. The second orbital is going to have a maximum of eight electrons represented by these green dots. The third orbital, it can also contain eight electrons. And the fourth orbital, um, it's going to hold up to two electrons. All right, so this works for everything between hydrogen and calcium. After that second electron, if we add one more, then we're going to get into transition metals and they behave a little bit differently. So let's get on to our example of the Bohr model of beryllium. Okay, so you do need a periodic table for this. And so we have that information contained in the periodic table right here. And we have to determine number of proton, electrons, and neutrons. So our protons is going to be equal to our atomic number. And so we have four. Our neutrons, that's going to be taking the atomic mass, rounding it, and then subtracting the atomic number. So that rounds to nine minus four, and that gives us five neutrons. And the electrons, well, the electrons are also the atomic number, which is going to be four. All right, so now we have that. We're going to draw the nucleus of our atom. And I'm going to do that with this circle right here. Now we're going to put P equals, we have four, so four protons. Then we're going to have N equals five, and that is our neutrons. We have four electrons, and so we're going to start from the innermost electron shell, or we could say the innermost electron orbit, same thing. This one can hold a maximum of two, so we're going to put one, two electrons here. Now we need a total of four electrons. Well, that first shell is full, so we're going to need another orbit, excuse me, another orbital. And now this one can hold a maximum of eight, but we have four here. So that means we need two more, put one here and one here, because they're not going to pair until at least the fifth electron in orbitals two and three, okay? And so there you have it. This is the Bohr model of beryllium. If you found this useful, would you consider like, commenting, and subscribing? Until next time, keep on learning.